Y a Luis Jumerisa, le jole a mujer, la Raising Babies 101. Santa, mummies and daddies, tenga gata seto, le prenatal care. Kiri healthcare services, te feng, te badi nayang ba ibana. Mo big dilemma yarona, midwife versus doula. Usia me tiki o fe hota, basia me bote. Hanti le doula fatili, yami mami warona, makeup artist, nom samadida. Carol of Foriki, The significant contribution of traditional healers as healthcare providers cannot be underestimated. Studies show that there is one traditional healer for every 700 to 1,200 patients, whereas medical doctors, the ratio is one to every 40,000 patients in South Africa. Traditional healers are extensively consulted to manage obstetric care within their communities. Obstetric care, e ka tlholosiwa ja ka tlokomelo le treatment ya basadi mo botsetseng ka nako ya pele ya pelegi le ka morago ga pelegi go bua ka khang e rena le dingaka tsa setso gogo mule nisi le mkhulu mtombela mabelangwe welcome and good morning to you both the role of traditional healers obstetric care traditional birth attendance ba o ke ba berekang ka motho go tlogela ile ile moimana go fitlhela a ilobelega process ya gore o tshwantse gore a itshware yang a no enye lo shebo go ngwana o dulisegile gantle lo shebo le yana moimana nze a phidile gantle a gona ntho e tlhokegang go a thuswe ka yona ke bona di traditional birth attendance ba ba thusang how does it work maybe it's the beginning of the first three months your pregnancy Mauzo pegisimo sa kumuntu bese ubuga kalu guti. Loko mnigeza kona, kuzo mvigela ganga gana anu muntu ampete o seswi. Loko mpuzisa kona, eh, kuzo yenza ganjani mpilo yake, neyalo munda ampete, inga abise ngupin, no minga abise ngozin. Ngoba, iskates nini umuntu mangabe as a twin, kunezi fe ningi, as a mlande layo. Ziningi zintungi shingondo yake, ya sheshu paza misega. Omu yuzo paza nyeswa intuwe mwane, mshamba paza misane no baba. Ngesizu lukona lento eti ugwali swana. Mshambu tolu guti ugu mama uprek, beno baba bayali swana, abafunani. At the same time, lo muntu tinga ugutakbe konu muntu zo mnagegela. So, kia wana wari, it's a holistic thing, hey, how would like to um, dilota to traditional, it's 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 an emotional thing, ki intuwe ya miliaka, who connecting the spirituality, kao fela in one, right? Yes. Ya nong, COVID-19, ya efekti le juang meroko walon? Ya. Kita toma lewe na kogo mule. Ere efekti le khabu tuko khakolo. Kaliba ken lauri ile ya yetori rie misen chongo lengwe on hold. Mo especially modin dumbin za rona lika modi bozi. Bon kundi wanta tem holo abati bi COVID-19. Hoke na mole ukuna ame upase ubatalu seze kali fulele linteng. Lore di kulani adi kono kutla bon kundi wanta tem holo kaliba ken lauri hona lili fulele wile. Aba wutlo rubuwa kang habati bi kuru ubuwa ika in. Ka amore tabela lili baka lau trompa mo lau. Wa 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 government ya ro na hore a re khone go ikeletsa boithatelo mkhulu let me bring it back to conversation ya 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 ha musadi ali pregnant and then it's time to give birth 
Weta Zhuang, how na li complication kana ko ya beth? Um, who is a halang? Like, maybe something happens. Wanna have me, or there's a complication. Is the main jalo. Since we are going to Alice says, "Up begging king I have no money." But we are going to have a little money. Okfane lupere ukuthi lo muntu mangabe sefira isi mosa ke yena si ganja no kutu sefu mezere ganja tina ganja mchampe sefu chesebe mukash ubomvu si agua zukta tabanda ba fana njengo koko ngoba M7 zinuetu kutinge kuti agbe kone zalguaz mina njengo muntu eslisa kutinge kuti endumben agbe kono muntu zoba kona o umama o amatwasa o zoguaz kuti anigeze o esmame utando luguba umama no makfane luguta msize ngente tize agua zugu msize njengo togotela no nes. Yeah, I recover like a fella hey. Yeah. Don't we live with the kind of people who are not going to know how to work at all? Because they are not obstetric care, especially how it's done traditional healers. Kind of people who are not going to know. Yes, they are wrong. The contributions of the traditional healers are of utmost importance and should not be discouraged. Traditional practitioners and their role in rendering perinatal health services should be supported and not underestimated. Mora ho kadi papa so reka na mo big dilemma yarona kumpi enur bua kadi dula utla utla ho reki ingi dula harhula. Welcome back to Raising Babies 101. Get that Carol Ofori. Prenatal care ibuchol kwa during pregnancy. There are two types of experts who are associated with improved maternal health outcomes and lower rates of medical intervention in birth. Bunsi baro na retriati di midwife te trainee luing kahutli sangwana sinte. Expert engwe ke doula bato bunsi bana kana kore midwife li doula ba eta merako otswanang miss sinte sinte bana li training merako le makwalo as to help us explore this matter, sitting next to me is Anna Dembe, an expectant mom, and Ashley Moon, a doula. Welcome to you both. Thank you. So, Anna, get that one. Luena, ki ingi big dilemma ya how kumpien. Yo, I'm just curious. Nje uti yini doula. Like mfungwa zimo ngoba ingenge zwa ngumgan angela ingi doula. So angzanga zanga understand uti yini yenzani. And stuff. All right. Well, Ashley, the floor is yours to explain to us <laughs> what is a doula and all the things that come with it. Okay. So, and a doula is is a childbirth companion. Um, a doula provides a non-medical um, role in your in your birth, um, and we would provide um, uh, care from from the time you would take a doula on during your pregnancy. Um, you know, all those little things that you want to ask your gynae, you can't keep phoning the gynae, you can't keep going to the clinic. So you would you would WhatsApp your doula and say, I've got this funny pain in the bottom of my stomach, what is it? And we would say, oh, well, it's your round ligament stretching, no problem, don't worry. So you act like it's a support structure for the mom exactly. during the process. So when would you say is the perfect time for Anna, for example, if she was interested to get the help of a doula? As soon as you can. Um, as soon as you're comfortable. And, Finding a doula is like finding the right gynecologist or the right psychologist or the right, you know, it's a, it's a very, very intensely personal thing. And so, you know, you, my advice to you would be to interview a number of doulas and find the person that you click with. This person is gonna be involved in a, such an intimate um, space in, in, in your life. So um, does my medical aid cover a doula or Good question. Okay, so most um, most medical aids will cover a doula. Um, it's paid out of your medical savings, so it's not a prescribed minimum benefit. So it's it's paid out of your savings. And for those who do not have medical aid at home, is uh, acquiring the services of a doula a rather expensive one? Do you go by the hour? How does it? No, you certainly don't. Please don't ever take on the services of a doula if she charges by the hour. A doula's rate it's it's not prohibitively expensive. Um, 
dealers are not dealers to make money. We dealers because it's a calling. We 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 want to help women have better birth experiences. So actually, I wish I had known more about a doula when I had both my kids because I would have definitely looked and explored the options of having one to help me through the birthing process because I was so nervous, especially my first one. And it'd be nice to know there's someone holding your hand and helping you through this process. And hopefully I've had a natural birth. If you hire a doula, I work for you. I don't work for the hospital, I don't work for the gynae. So my interests are solely for your birth and for your interests. Mm. Um, and to have that, that continuity of care um, during your labour, it's, it's just got to make it better. Mm. Um, it's just got to make it better. Anna, so now that you've heard what the role of a doula is and what they do, we could go wrong. I just have one more question. Okay, go ahead with your do, one. Um, do doulas um, stay after bed or just during the, the process yeah. of pregnancy? Okay, so a doula is um, from, from when you sign your doula, sign up with your doula, she's with you. So I, from 37 weeks, I'm on 24 hour call for you. So you would can call me in the middle of the night and say, oh my goodness, I think I'm having a contraction. I would be with you for your full labor, for, for the birth and then it depends on the doula. Some doulas stay one hour, some doulas stay two hours after the birth. But the, that golden hour, which is the first hour after birth, is the most important time. It's, um, it's important to explore with your doula what your specific doula will, will offer you. Mm. But um, yeah, your doula certainly doesn't say, oh, baby's out, okay, Bye -bye. cheers, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you've heard the role of the doula. How are you feeling? Are you going to explore the option of getting a doula or we could like Oh, I'm thinking of getting one ne? already, yes. <laughs> I wish I could have done that too. <laughs> oh, Ashley, you're fantastic, especially because Ashley would like a gugu and food. Mm. I like that, mm. I like that. Thank yeah. you so much, Anna, for, for coming on and asking us this question. We've learned a lot through your questions. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ashley. Thanks, Carol. I appreciate it. Wish I knew all of this before. Thank you. Thank you so much. A doula's job is to strengthen your existing support system and anticipate your needs, allowing you to focus on what is important to you. The use of a doula is low risk, highly effective and proven to improve birth and postpartum outcomes. Today on Decoding A to Z, it's P for perinatal asphyxia. Perinatal asphyxia is a condition in which a baby's brain does not receive enough oxygen before, during or after birth. This results in cardiorespiratory or brain damage. Asphyxia can be fatal. Brain cells can begin dying within as little as five minutes without oxygen. It can also cause permanent long-term damage, including intellectual disability, delayed development, seizure disorder and cerebral palsy. Treatment options include mechanical ventilation to take over or support breathing and oxygen therapy. These treatments will be stopped as your baby recovers. Ke na le dikhang tse monate fa lona go gae le gona go wina shopping voucher ya 200 rand from an exclusive baby retailer. Wa iputsa gore o ka wina jwang a raba putso ena e bonolo e latelang. Traditional medicine is typically contrasted with homeopathic medicines. Araba ea khotsa nya. Romela ka raba ya ga go mo Facebook page ya rona for your chance to win. In studio, we have Romy Levy from the So Pure Lab. Romy is a clinical homeopath and mom of six who will help us with cleaning and hygiene tips to help the COVID-19 virus and other pathogens stay out of our homes. Romy, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for coming in this morning. Thank you for having me, Carol. It's a real pleasure to be with you today. Right, so here we have all these pathogens, we've got COVID-19, we want to keep our kids safe. Um, what would you say is the first place parents should start with keeping their homes safe from all these viruses? So basically, uh, uh, my advice is mindfulness. Mm. Um, I think if we keep our heads towards ourselves, mm -hmm. um, we could do a lot of good um, in our homes. Mm -hmm. um, with regard to cleaning, I think we do need to be more vigilant, especially with our kiddies home from school. I know some schools are going back or whatever the case may be. Um, and I think that um, cleaning is a really, really important factor as well as disinfection. 
Disinfection helps enhance the cleaning process. And I think if we're mindful about it, that's probably gonna be the best way to go. And my main recommendation is for moms to look for a more natural solution than we've ever looked for before. Now, what do you do? I mean, we live in South Africa. We get water cuts all the time. Yeah. There's no water and there's only hand sanitizer available. Yeah. The truth of the matter is we have seen water cuts where we needed to introduce sanitizing. Um, most specifically in Cape Town it happened. Mm. Um, we had um, developed some really clever products to assist in that, in that case. So when we're talking about um, water cuts and sanitizing, we're talking about our toilets. We're talking about our kitchens, mm. we're talking about surfaces, and then we're talking about our bodies and most specifically our hands. Um, we manufacture um, uh, alcohol-free hand sanitizer that essentially can act as water. And that's what's so brilliant about um, the product that we advocate for, is that in many cases, um, harsh and um, severe chemicals aren't indicated mm. um, for little ones, um, for the elderly, um, your primary healthcare workers also. Um, and so I think the best way to sort of curtail um, becoming affected by disease with regard to uh, water shortages is by using products that are more gentle Mm. and that would include um, non-alcohol-based hand sanitizers. But now government's obviously advocating sure. that in order to fight COVID-19, you have to have 70% sure. alcohol-based sanitizer. Sure. So um, I guess uh, in the home, you can look at other options as we have running water, for example, that can help. Yeah. Yeah. So my disclaimer always is, and uh, is that I'm a professional, so I'm a clinical homeopath and I, and I am um, obliged to give people and patients and, and, and the public um, uh, prudent advice and um, advice that is uh, evidence-based and medically based. I will always go for something more natural than something more harsh. Mm. Um, and then I, I am in, I'm of the opinion that whatever people can get their hands on that are going to help keep them healthy, especially in South Africa, we aren't... Um, privy to what some of the other countries in the world are. Right. Um, and, I, and I think that um, whatever it is that we can do to protect ourselves, sure. whether it be a 70% hand sanitizer or a non-alcohol based hand sanitizer, um, prevention is better than cure. And Absolutely. anything that we can do is better than nothing. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much, Romy, uh, for walking us through the importance of hygiene. I think what I've really taken away from this is the importance of just simply washing hands. Um, you know, I think we, we are so quick to want to use chemicals, but just simply washing your hands consistently does a lot of um, work yes. to keeping all these nasty things away and, of course, keeping your house nice and clean as well. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Romy. Thanks for having me, Carol. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you for having me. <laughs> There's so many celebrities' faces that you are painting across the country. How's that like for you as a mom, having to travel and do what you do with two small kids? It is difficult mm. because um, you want to be this businesswoman mm. and at the same time you want to be a full-time uh, hands-on mom. Mm. So, I mean, I think I'll never get to that point where I am comfortable with the transition. I don't know how to have space. Mm. When I'm at work, I think of the kids. Mm. When I'm with the kids, I think of work. Earlier in this episode, Rila and now for the first time, Kilaka Kalokanya the role of the doula and Horbai Rang at a birthing time. Right. And I wish before Kinali Banabaka I knew all of this because I would have probably used them. When yeah. are we love very kiss about doula at all? No, mm -hmm. no, I'm very black or white. Mm. Doctor or um, I, 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 midwife, that's not, <laughs> that's not for me. Hey. <laughs> so it's the doctor, it's the hospital, you have the baby and that's it. So I've never had to, you know, look at other avenues. I'm happy with just the focus of just the doctor and having the baby. You know, career, it's, it's, it's an exciting career. It takes you all over the world. Noliko LA with some big makeup brands. Yes. Um, what exciting things are coming for Nomsa? I know you work on really big projects. Yeah. Uh, it's exciting to learn for it. Um, I think what's nice for me is I then get to be approached by brands also as 
the person in front of the camera. Mm. So I still have a relationship. I mean, it's only been, I think in July, it will be a year with the makeup brand mm -hmm. that I'm endorsing. Mm. So it, it's nice that I'm not just um, a makeup artist, but whatever I use as a makeup artist is what uh, is a product that I'm, I could, I'm endorsing at the same time. So, um, I, I love that, but I also love um, working with different people and yeah. Yeah. So, Kupan Chalusetse, what would you say? Because this show is really about and all of that. Advice that you would give the one thing during this process, what would be advice that you would Okay, for me, it would be we shouldn't feel bad, mm. especially as young mothers. You want to be a career woman, and at the same time, often uh, about mama. So I always console myself with the kids chose me mm. to be their mom. They know I'm a a, a, a working um, woman. So as much as I want to be there 24/7, I also have. I carry, I have to take care of them. And mm. I explain to the big one, now she gets it. Of course, Nalabada by two. Yes. And I know it's a very big difference. One not owing one, and then the second one comes along. Yeah. Who navigate around the dynamics between Bonne and Baba It's so tough. With the first one, my mom was there, like hands on. So, you know, I thought, ah, I got this. And then with the second one, she pulled back. So it was on me. So only now, I think she's two. So for the past two years, I'm, I now feel like I am a mother. I feel everything. The waking up in the morning when you don't want to because she's tapping. She's like, eh, wake up. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. And yeah. Um, also the, 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 what is it? The, the first one is nine years old. Mm. The second one is two. There was so much uh, time in between where I thought, you know, she was big. So I felt like, no, I don't have a kid. Yeah, you know now. Taking care of herself. Yes. Yeah, yeah, and I now back to to studying over. Yes, party um, training, to take off. And, oh, yeah. It's insane. It's insane. But it's beautiful because I think um, I'm at the right time. Mm. You know, the first one. Yes, I was slightly younger, and my mom was like I said, she was proper hands on. Mm. With the second one, I'm quite older mm, you know and i'm on. yeah and i'm and i'm i'm ready mm. Lomsa, thank you so much for coming and sitting down and i'm sure your girls can't wait for them to get their first face beat from mommy oh no she <laughs> does get a face beat our pay dates are that. face beats i love that thank you so much <laughs> thank you but what a fantastic show i want to thank all my guests on the show and of course you at home for watching for me carol of Goodbye, until next time.